Sophie. Hello, nice to see you. Thank you. Hello, ready for the fair? Yes. raining now which is good absolutely so what are you wearing today uh, today I'm wearing the uh, memory spirit which is the original memories in a 40 millimeter case oh that's beautiful this is distracting me yes yeah, sorry sorry <laughs> now I'm teasing I'm teasing <laughs> it's beautiful what about you Michaela what are you wearing uh, yes I'm a beautiful watch for lady star dance a beautiful combination of a um, mother pier and uh, meteorize and beautiful places oh, with diamonds as well. All right, let me have a little peek. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. The watch has become a collectible, you know. All the watches we make are either unique or made in limited editions, small limited editions. Yes, yeah, so once they're sold, then they become real collectors. That's pieces. right. So yesterday, a customer from Texas tried to grab it from her wrist and uh, run oh, away. Oh wow! <laughs> but we, we caught him. You caught him, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Um, so I was at the stand yesterday, yesterday morning. Yeah. And um, it was lovely to see Aurélie and Natalie, who's an old friend of mine actually, so it was lovely <laughs> to find her again. And um, one thing that really strikes me with Louis Moinet is just how creative you are. You have so much creativity, ideas, I don't know, it's just, uh, you're really an idea person. Is, it, is that a good analysis or just creative in general? I'll take it as a big compliment. It Thank you for saying that. It is. This is why I created this company, actually. You know, I didn't want, I spent, I was born in Vidura Mountains, so there is something in my blood yeah. since my childhood. And um, for me, a watch is something very important. And at a certain point in my life, I, I wanted to create my own, my own watches. And this is why I created uh, Les Ateliers Louis Moinet. Okay. So thank you for the compliment. Oh, no, no, it's well deserved. Uh, <laughs> now, um, where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, uh, does it just come to you? Or, coffee. Or? Coffee. <laughs> like that, yeah. yeah, I'm a coffee lover too. That's mm. why you had that last cup before coming. Huh? That's right, oh. that's right. So last year you had lots of things going on, not just with the watches, but with NFTs as well. Where you sold what was it, a thousand? Yes. Yes, that was that was amazing. It was, and very quick actually. It just took yeah. a few minutes to sell uh, the whole batch. Uh, to, to my surprise as well, because I, I, I'm not sure there are specialists of the, of NFTs in the world. Yeah. Something so new, and it's changing every day, as yeah. you know. So we. You know, Louis Moinet, 200 years ago, he was a pioneer. Yeah. So the first question is, shall we do it or not? We have to respect uh, the DNA that goes along with his name. Mm. And I, I said, yes, we, we should do it because it's something new, something modern. Yeah. Um, and um, we should only do it if it's something of quality. Yeah. And the partners we had, they were, they were very good in terms of quality. Okay. And, and we did that and it, um, it helped us because some people, when they say Louis Monet 1806, they think, ah, oh, maybe it's an old brand. But it's not because you have roots that you cannot have big, beautiful red apples, you know? Oh, that's nice. That's a nice analogy. Oh, that's cool. Now, another of your projects, <coughs> you see, this is where all the creativity comes, was your, your novel. Yes. Because you've been working on that for a while. I remember you telling me about it a few years <coughs> ago and you've published it. And it's a sort of <coughs> mystery where, the, where there's a puzzle and you have to find a watch, um, or not find a watch, but find the answers and you can win a watch. Um, <coughs> did somebody find all the answers? You will not believe it. They were, it seemed like people, they tried their best until the last second. Yes. And three days before uh, the, 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 the finish, because it was open for one year, Somebody found the answer oh, three wow. days before the, the end of the. Oh, that's incredible. <coughs> yeah, 
So uh, just one person, because the idea was if a few people got it, they would, you would... A lucky draw, yeah. Yeah, yeah a lucky draw. But uh, only one person did it. Oh, wow. It, I must say, it was tough. Here again, the idea was, I was a bit frustrated yeah. to tell the story of Louis Moinet and to tell people, look, this clock is at the White House. Yeah. Look, he did that for the Tsar of Russia. And people are like, oh, all right. Yeah. So I thought it's, it doesn't do justice, you know. And I wanted to write this book, which is a thriller, mm. incorporating historical elements and a cocktail of um, my own ideas, let's yeah. say. So the book, it took me two, three years to write, okay. three years. Obviously, I didn't do it uh, every day. I did yeah. it when I had free time. And the interesting thing is, there is a book and there is the uh, treasure's hunt. Yeah. La Chasse au Trésor. And this treasure's hunt that you have mentioned, yeah. And the, the price was uh, one, uh, one memory alchemia, the same watch in gold, yes. with a special dial, a unique piece. This uh, treasure's hunt was made uh, from um, our son, Nate. Oh, he, he, okay. Yeah, he organized it. So we both had our area. And um, interesting is it's very difficult to sell books these days. Yes. And um, I think it was a, a nice trigger to have this treasure's hunt. And I think many people they were more interesting in the hunt than in the book. Oh, well, <laughs> when there's a prize. Yes, <laughs> we, exactly. We see that at World Tempest too. When we give away prizes, everyone gets, you know, very really? excited. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. love it. Oh, but it's great. Well, I'm glad someone someone found it. That You know, that's what that's the point, isn't it? So, yeah. Oh. Now, Michaela, I have a question for you as well, because with all Jean-Marie's ideas, what's the craziest idea he has had? <laughs> Is there anything you can share? Um, to marry me. <laughs> no, oh, that's the one. <laughs> that's not crazy. The, the, with the Jean-Marie, they surprise me every time. So I cannot, what I can tell you is um, every day I have a, a new proposal, a new idea, a new, and we share, we share this, uh, what they think and the, what they, uh, it's very interesting, but uh, I can't not tell you exactly something. But uh, every day, uh, something, something happened new. with him. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yes. Michaela, sometimes she put me back on the. Um, how do you say in English? On the on the straight path. Mm. Yes. Okay. Well, we all need that, don't we? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We need to be able to wander, but we need someone to say, "Hey, you're going the wrong <laughs> way. Come back." <laughs> It's getting me into the magic car park. <coughs> it's a special parking? Yes, it's the CEO car park. I see. So they give me special access, but because I change cars, <laughs> yeah. I can't stick it all the time. Here we go. Shall I hold it for you? Thank you. That would be lovely. So here we are. We made it in one piece. So we had a nice chat along the way. Thank you, Sophie. It's, it's nice to have company rather than sit here all by myself. Bonjour. Oh, I have to get close. So here we are, we have arrived. So these steps go straight up to so directly Wonderful. at the front. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank it you. It was a pleasure as always. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.